Oh, looking to farm element and alpha bosses to fight Finner with? Do not want to raise and imprint dinos? Have no fear. We will go over the three bosses you need to fight Finrear, their rewards, and the different ways you can beat them. First up is the Broodmother. Anyone who has ever faced the Broodmother knows this fight can be daunting, and generally requires some prep work. If you've seen my tech turret solo videos, you probably know what I'm going to say here, but I will also go over a few other strategies and some do's and don'ts. If you can tame them, the Shadow Mains work great here. These are tamed shadow mains leveled up to have 25 to 30k hit points each and around 300 melee. If I had leveled them to 22k hit points and then the rest of melee, the broodmother may have died faster, but some may have died. I brought a Daedon in to heal, but for some reason passive healing would not work, so I hopped off from time to time and healed with the Daedon. I do not recommend doing this, as many things can go wrong when you dismount to switch dinos. It is best to bring a second person in to ride the day on. Shadow mains have a buff that you can apply if you ride the mail and they are mate boosted. This buff is really good, but if you have a second player, you can bring a UD along to have even more buffs to increase your chances of winning. Now, of course, if you don't want to use shadow mains, you will need boss fighters, either Rexus or Therizinos, with some Mega Theremes mixed in. Therese would need sweet cakes in the inventory, probably 30 or so. Of course, you would need a UD buff them and heal with a day on. Now, unfortunately, without really good stats and imprint bonuses along with good saddles, Rexus Theories and Megatheriums just won't cut it in this boss fight. To use Megatheriums in this boss fight, they need to have good saddles with 5 to 600 melee and at least 12k hit points. Unridden Megatheriums are not great because if they do not kill a spider and get the bug buff, they do not know to run away and wait for more spiders. Without the bug buff, Brood will rip through the Megatheriums. It is always risky to bring in unridden Megatheriums, but they are one of the best dinos to have a player riding for this fight. With or without Shadow Mains, if you're not solo, I recommend bringing in Megatheriums for everyone who's not going to be on the UD, or who's not going to be on the Shadow Main buffing, or the course of the day on as well, right? And then you can just have the Rexes, Therizinos, or Megatheriums, or mix and match, or whatever you brought in, right? Doing the fighting and tanking while the Megatheriums are around killing the Broodmother and getting the bug buff. When you win this fight, you get 140 element and a trophy from a defeated alpha brood. The cave with the broodmother in it can be found near 5766. Alright, let's move on to the Megapithecus. This bad boy does a lot of area damage and summons in monkeys that fling poo at the player. The arena is cold, so make sure to wear fur, bring plenty of medbrews, and free a chili if your fur is not great. Of course, this guy can be defeated easily with high level tame shadow mains that have been leveled up. These Shadow Mains have the same stats as the ones that fought the Brood. To defeat the Alpha Megapithecus with Rexus, you would need Rexus with around 30k hit points and 600 melee minimum with a 60 armor or better saddle, along with a UD buff. Terrazinos with Sweet Cake should be able to do this fight as well. That is assuming you do not get the Sweet Cake glitch where it just does not heal them. The bare minimum would be 19k hit points and 500 melee, along with a UD buff and around 60 plus armor saddles. I would stick with Rexes or Shadow Mains for this fight. The Alpha Megapithecus drops 220 element and a trophy. The entrance to the cave with the Megapithecus boss fight is near 5785. The hardest of the three boss fights, the Alpha Dragon. Well, hardest if you're solo that is. The easiest way to complete this fight is with a few people. There are quite a few tricks that tend to work and we will go over them. If you're wanting to know how to beat Alpha Finger, make sure to subscribe. That video is in production and should be out soon. The Alpha Dragon breeds fire that deals percent based damage and will rip through any dino you bring into the fight. The name of the game is to out DPS the dragon. For this fight, you will want to bring in Cactus Broth to help you avoid Dimorphodon aggro, Good Flak, at least two sets, if not three. The Dimorphodons can rip through your armor fast. Plenty of Medbrews, and if it's too hot for you, Bring some Kallian soup as well. If you have a good hazmat suit, you could try it, but the Dimorphodons will eat it up fast. The dragon will fire fireballs that deal massive damage when it's flying around. It starts up the fight this way, so do not dilly dally around at the start or you may just die in a fiery ball. The fireball can damage the rider, so be very careful of this. Always be moving around. This dragon breathes fire breath quite often, using just one of any type of dino at least wild tame dinos, will not work or not well anyway. 
Even the powerful Shadow Mane gets destroyed here. Now, if you want to pull this off with Wild Tang Dinos, then you need to bring in a Dionychus. Shadow Mane's Rexes and Therese will all work, just expect to lose most of them, as long as you're riding a Dionychus. Now, if you can, just have one or two Dinos get the Dragon's aggro and send the rest to attack it from behind, or just have a couple tank the Dragon while the rest sit out in safety. Attack the Dragon from behind with a Dionychus. As the ones tanking start to get hurt, send them away and bring in fresh dinos to fight. This is much easier with a group, and there are even better methods with a group we will go over soon. There is a Therizino method, where you bring in a Therizino with 2100 hit points and the rest of their points in melee, and fill them with Sweet Kick, so that they heal up from the damage. When they start to get low, just have them run away while the healthy one tanks the dragons until they have healed up. This method works okay, but the biggest issue is that there is a glitch where fairies will eat the cake, but will not heal them. When this happens, most of your fairies will die. Of course, if the fairies are not bred with 700 plus melee and high armor saddles, you will need to add a Dionychus to the fight to ensure victory. Well, that's how you win solo with tame dinos, the only bred one being a Dionychus, of course, and all the, prim all the dinos had prim saddles on them. To improve your chances of winning, group up with other players. If you have two to three players total, there are some neat tricks you can use. A nice trick that has worked for us is to use a moose or bear, though I do not like bears as they cannot sprint from danger. Run up under the dragon and position the moose or bear's head between the legs. This aggros the dragon, but it cannot hit you. Cactus broth is very important here, as dimorphodons will tear you apart on the back of a bear. The moose is really good at killing them though. While holding the aggro, the dine rider can run up behind the dragon and kill it. Make sure to have backup boss fighters just in case this method goes wrong. If you do not prefer that you tank and kill with a dying method, you can go for the full on assault. It helps with this method to have a UD buffing. The UD rider could have a Daedon on ignore whistles and following, switch to healing when needed, or you could have a Daedon rider as well. One thing to be aware of here is that a lot of boss fighters can't kill Dimorphodons easily except for the Rexes, so make sure to bring in a couple of Rexes that stand off to the side for your third player to control to protect everyone from Dimorphodon. Now if you do not know when to use any Dionychus, you will need to have decent saddles, 80 plus armor with really good boss fighting stats. Rexes would be a minimum of 30k hit points and 700 melee. Shadow mains would be similar. Therizino should not go above 21,000 hit points, just max melee. Make sure to have sweet cakes and 80 plus armor saddles on them. Melee should be 700 plus. Have a player with most of the dinos following them, and when the player designated to tank gets the dragon's attention, have the rest of the dinos attack it from behind. It is not a good idea to have all the dinos eating the fire breath all at once. The alpha dragon drops 440 element and a trophy. The cave entrance closest to the dragon is near 86.5. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.